Okay, I do want to get out of this cave, though, because there were a lot of enemies in here last time I checked. Okay, well, that's two of three down. That was a lot less difficult than the first one. <laughs> By far. Uh, but that is okay, uh, because difficulty is a wonderful thing. Um, did we go? We didn't go in here, right? No, this looks not familiar. There are dogs. I don't remember dogs. I do remember horses, though, because horses are things that I ride on, and dogs are enemies that I fight against. Very different things, but there is also this conveniently located staircase. I don't know where the staircase is taking me that makes it so conveniently located, but it is conveniently located in the fact that it's here. Anyway, as we continue in, there is stuff. But there's also a lot of enemies around, which means I can't really look at it. What does it say? 20 frag... 20 fragment? That's a lot of fragment. And I can't hold it at the moment because I'm holding too much other stuff. Bomb fragments. Okay. Well, as much as I would love to stay in chat, <laughs> I've got some bomb fragments. I'd love to see how many I have with me. With me? On me? With me? Same thing. Oh, there's the explosive bugs, but then there's also the metal bugs. And those are two different types of bug. Very distinctive here. Gotta make sure that your bugs are right. Because if you mistake a non-bomb bug for a, for a bomb bug, well, then you're going to be in a very difficult time when you need to blow stuff up. It's true. And that should be the last... Oh, I got three extra. Okay, I need 20 in here. Yoink. Very nice noises here. Where is the door, though? Is it here? Is it somewhere nearby? Yes, yes it is, in fact, somewhere nearby. And there's broken mechs around. Hello, broken mechs. Tools acquired, delivered to LH, additional orders received, intruder detected, camouflage ineffective, defend. Oh, he is, he is in fact, very fiery. I think fire is generally a sign of breaking. <laughs> but, you know, you can do whatever you want, Mr. Fiery Mech, whatever your name is. Okay, okay, alright, let's back it up here. Calm it down. <laughs> Ow. Fiery fairy? You can spawn fiery fairies? I want to spawn fiery fairies. I'd even settle for non-fiery fairies. Okay, okay, let's back it up here. Are you stuck in a, a block? Not the smartest plan of attack there, buddy. Generally, block sticking is reserved for slime and other things that should naturally stick to blocks. Like glue. Where do you go? There he is. Ah. Die. One more. Come. Okay. Whoa. He spawned in hounds. Release the hounds. And a pane of glass. Uh. Okay. I need to throw out these. And I got H-T-H-O. Interesting. I don't know what I'd do with these other than just give them to... Farmer man, Phineas. It's like Phineas, but worse. You know, <laughs> he just wanted to be Phineas so bad, but then his parents were like, nope, you're gonna be Phineas. Okay, that was a firework. Because <laughs> it's New Year's Eve. I don't know if you could hear that, but that was very loud. Uh, I need to empty some space in my inventory, so I'll just clear out these potions. Temporarily, because I'm sure I won't need them. You win, folk. Sure, no, you're fat. I don't remember the voice I gave him. You found all three? Let's take a look. Hmm? Oi, these aren't Desper Mix. Factory fell over two years ago. These are brand new, handmade. Let's take a closer look. Would you take a look at that? Their code. Here, have them back. Take a close look at the names of these parts. Cosmic update. Updated? What? I wasn't expecting that. Find out where to go by looking at the pieces of junk. Um, use H-T-H-O and LIG. Uh, uh-huh. Seems to be some sort of light source. LIG. LIG. Oh, light? Lighthouse. There it is. LIG to house. Well, LIG to house. <laughs> Sure. Do I talk to you again? Nope. Look in the quest book. I didn't... Okay. Uh, that's great. And I know that I have to go to the lighthouse. But that doesn't answer one very important question. Where is the lighthouse? 
I am unacquainted with this area. If you could kindly direct me... Is that the lighthouse? That looks vaguely lighthouse-ish. Uh, okay. I'm also on fire. But that's okay. Fire is just a small part of a daily routine. Uh, okay. Is this the lighthouse? This seems very old and run down to be a lighthouse. Who are you? Natik. What are these? I have nothing to do with them. I don't either, buddy. Ah, well, now, now that I think of it, my writing my location on these parts was a bit stupid. Those mechs were my creation. Caucus can still live with machines. The factory was a disaster. That's what happens when a machine controls a machine. I am living proof that humans can control them, even make use of them. The mental shortage has made it difficult to make my machines, not to mention the new laws. If you want to turn me in, fine. You'll find all the evidence you need under my pillow. He says I want to turn you in. Huh? I have to search. It's under his pillow. Uh, I don't know where his pillow is. Um, <laughs> maybe he's holding on to it for safekeeping. It's under his pillow, but where is his pillow? That's where the real mystery lies. Because it doesn't tell the truth. Because it, it's lies. Anyway. Lays? I don't know. Chips? Potato chips? Corn chips? Who knows? We need to keep going up the stairs, I presume. Because it's under his pillow. But his pillow could be anywhere. We still don't know where his pillow is. Presumably it's on his bed. But then technically if his bed is on the top floor, then anything below his bed, including the entirety of the floors of the lighthouse, would be considered under his pillow. At least by the definition of the word under. In this case, however, that may not be the case. Also, I'm at the top, and there's no pillow. <laughs> so... Okay. Um... Where is his pillow? The plot thickens. Unless it was already thick to begin with, in which case the plot stays the same. Uh-huh. Um... Where is his pillow? Does he have a pillow? Does he sleep? These are all questions I have at the time. Will they be answered? I don't know. I hope so, because that would be interesting to have my questions answered. I uh, okay. What in the world are you doing here? Get out immediately. No? I mean, welcome. Nothing suspicious here at all. Um, what is this? No entry. Okay. Here is his pillow. It's under it. How do I get under his pillow? There's thing. Oh, that's just him. Can I throw something? Yep. Ah! I've been trapped. Stranger detected. Security system activated. Prepare for fall in 3, 2, 1. Get ready. Ah! Oh, this is cool. Boom. Why does she have a secret base under her bed? Oh, that's a she? Netik? Is a she? More like Netic. Oh, there's arrow traps and other various deadly machines. But there's also a button. It does nothing. I'm sorry it ended up like this. Should have just ignored that old man. I was made to be angry. I can't stop myself. Prepare for blah. Okay, what is what is he throwing at me? There's also security bots. Ow. Security bots are very annoying. I'd like to avoid security bots, if at all possible. What is he throwing? What are those? I mean, are they like snowballs or arrows? Oh, we can teleport. Okay. He also has relatively low HP. Compared to the amount of damage that I can deal. Anyway. He, nope, he has multiple phases. Okay. Oh, no, he's a melee user. Perfect. It's a lot easier to kill melee users. <laughs> because I have, you know, a ranged weapon. That's okay. Also running... See, but it doesn't even matter that I'm running out of mana. Because as long as I'm just slightly in front of him, he can't do anything to me. Like right now, he just can't touch me. Except if he does that. But he can miss. And it's so weak. He's just so weak, because he can't do anything if I'm any reasonable distance away from him. So I can just keep doing this. Forever. And I never have to stop. Oh, he's another phase. And now he's fast. Okay. Alright, that's bad. Speed is bad. Not a fan of that. Um... But you don't move like you're on fire. And see, he has a good ability. As a melee user, being able to bring someone closer to you is a great ability. And he can do that. I would love to be able to do that. No, I wouldn't. That's kind of bad for an archer. I wouldn't want people to be close to me. Oh, no. He's coming after me. All right. I'm out of here. <laughs> that was an effective use of the escape tool. Okay. 
All right, all right. Let's chill out here, buddy. I already told you I don't want to be this close to you. All right, so you can just lay out, lay it off. Ow! It's about to kill me. I'm not a fan. I'm an air conditioner. Come on, he's so low. There we go. Ah, uh, that's great. What did I get? What is this? Mechanical core. It's filled with electromagic. I don't remember where I came in, but I assume this is the exit. Yes, yes. Aha, and back to Finnis. Uh, yes, report to Finnis. I can do that. Discount Phineas, Finnis. Hello, Discount Phineas. Please empty space in my inventory. Well, I already threw out my potions, so I guess I'm throwing out more potions. Because I can get more money back from all the gear I have anyway. Here you go, buddy. Did you find that source of those odd handmade machines? Handmade mechs? Natik? The lighthouse owner? It's not overly surprising. She always did complain about the mech ban. What's wrong with the mech ban? I assume Ban is a great guy. You see, many of the Corkian people rely on their machines, have done for years. So when the factory fell and the new laws were introduced, people's lives changed. Please, people don't like change. Anyway, I can't thank you enough. Have this for your troubles. Cool. I didn't... Oh, a mech core. It's a necklace. I don't know, this jester necklace is pretty dang good. <laughs> but if you think it's better, then okay, whatever. I guess I can trust you. Anyway, with that, I'm going to leave this here. Like, subscribe if you enjoyed, leave a comment and feedback you have for me, and I'll see all of you later. Bye.